Good day, Gemini viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your awesome energy. And thank you for clicking on subscribe, liking this video, and for clicking that notification bell. That'll let you know when I'm going live or uploading new videos. Today, I am shuffling for the Gemini Collective's Greatest Good for this reading for January 2023. Spirit, what does the Gemini Collective need to know for their greatest good for January 2023? What does the Gemini Collective need to know? Thank you. For their greatest good. For the, oh, here's a, oh, three cards came out I'm hearing. Okay, so we have Storm Field, and that's the number nine. We have Movement, number 28 and strength 44 okay so i am feeling like there's going to be some changes coming in i am seeing right now i'm seeing that you are needing to see things from a different perspective um to find what you are looking for to find what it is that you are um, how you are meant to change, but there is going to definitely be some changes coming in. Now, these changes might not look awesome to you. Um, they might even seem destructive at first, but you are given the strength to get through these situations. You have the coping skills, you have the, um, internal prowess to to make things work and um for you to be able to to turn things around in your life you're going to need to see things from a different perspective see things from a different um a vantage point do you see that that balloon in the air that is telling me that there's there's definitely um, a different view that you want to see things from, but you're not going to realize these changes until you until you start changing the way you see things. It's like you've had blinders on and you're being asked to take those blinders off because that whatever's coming in for you is going to uh, to push you right over if you don't get out of its path. Okay, so, but you are strong enough and capable enough to get through these times. Like I said, the prowess is there. So you're going to need to make use of your coping skills to get through these, these changes. Um, like I said, they, they, they seem pretty, uh, pretty destructive right now, but it's going to be for your greatest good. I know that is easier said than done. But we've all been through it. We've all had, there's one thing that's certain in life and that is change. So, and it's how we handle those changes that make us who we are. So hopefully you're able to, to address these and go with the flow and um, kind of deal with, uh, deal with things with grace to be able to get through these times. Okay, I'm shuffling the tarot deck. For Gemini's for January 2023 for this general reading. Spirit, what do you have to tell the Gemini's for their greatest good for January 2023? I do apologize if I sound stuffy. I am in a cold right now, so just getting over it. So we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Uh, the, the King of Cups. Four of Swords in reverse, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, okay, I f am seeing that there is um, definitely a strong masculine love in your energy. Um, this person loves you the best they can with what they can like what the best they can with the 
the way the way they know how. Um, you know, we often think that we have ideals of how people should love us and how people, you know, you know, from watching movies and all this uh, propaganda around us, how somebody should be loved. But this person in your energy is loves you with all they can. You know, they might not have been shown love when they were younger. They not might have not, you know, been, you know, told they were loved all the time or embraced or hugged or, um, you know, shown the kind of love that you need when they were younger. So they don't know how to go about proceeding to love you like that. Um, but they do love you with every fiber of their being, with with every way they know how to love you. All right. Um, right now, I feel like you are paying attention to things that um, aren't really necessary in your life right now. You're giving them more credit than they need. You are um, kind of just, uh, you know, pitsing around with people who aren't really your real people. Uh, there are people who care about you more in your life that really would love to hear from you or would love to be around you. And um, I'm being called to tell you that maybe you should check on those people, making sure they're okay. And um, they would love to hear from you. This could be family. This could be, you know, old friends. This could be your significant other. Maybe you haven't been giving them enough attention. And then I have the Four of Swords, which means that um, you need to uh, put aside time for some, uh, for some self-care. You have been overworked and um, not maybe taking care of your family and everybody else's um, wishes. And you haven't been really focusing on your own um, lately. So you are being asked to take a break. Just rest. Uh, maybe you need to take a mental health day for yourself. Maybe mental health has been an issue for you for the last couple months. I know it has been for a lot of people and maybe that is your struggle right now. So maybe you just need to take some downtime and, you know, do some shadow work and f start figuring some stuff out. Um, trying to heal yourself from the inside out and um, raising that, um, you know, self-awareness and self-esteem. And um, I'm hearing start talking to yourself better. I feel like you're uh, maybe self-deprecating. <laughs> I can't get that word out today. Um, you know, just calling yourself things like, um, you know, a moron. Like when you're talking to yourself, um, you know, the spirit hears these things and hears that you're talking to yourself like that. And that is a, a lo very low vibe energy. And that's the energy you know, you're putting onto yourself and out in the world. So you just want to watch out, you know, start talking to yourself highly, start talking to people around you highly, lift them up instead of putting them down. Um, I'm also seeing that um, this person, this uh, wands energy in, in your life, this could be, um, again, a masculine, divine masculine in seems to not be doing well. Um, this could be a younger person, maybe a younger, some, somebody younger. You know, you have this King of Cups energy in your life, but there is also this Knight of Wands. This could be like, um, like a son or um, I'm hearing stepson and they're just not, I'm hearing check in on your people. People are not feeling feeling themselves lately. Um, a loss of passion, maybe they broke up with somebody. This could be maybe a brother or a sister, a sibling of some kind. Maybe it's, um, like I said, a son or a daughter uh, might be struggling with, you know, finding their passion, finding their, what they're supposed to do in their lives, struggling to see where they belong. Maybe they feel um, displacement of some kind. So you might just want to check on in on them um, and, you know, see if they need your advice or see if they need um, just a, a shoulder, a sounding board. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Five of Cups for the Gemini Collective. 
I'm going to clarify the Five of Cups spirit for the Gemini Collective. What do the Gemini Collective need to know for their greatest good for January 2023? Messages for Gemini for January 2023, please. Thank you. Messages for Gemini. Okay, so we have the two, the world in reverse. Oh, we have a, a bunch of cards that came out. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups. And the Five of Wands. Okay, so I, I'm seeing that you you're kind of dealing with some chaos, chaos that's been in your your in your energy um this could be just the hustle and bustle of the holiday season um but there's a there's been a lot of things going on around you definitely a bunch of things that maybe invitations um that you've been receiving but there's a lot of things that are happening within your energy a lot of people are hitting you up maybe you um maybe you've had a lot of hard decisions to make you know regarding the new year regarding children regarding your family maybe you want to um set your sights on something new for the new year and um i'm feel i'm feeling like you there's a lot of decisions that are being made but lately you're feeling very unsettled very chaotic like um like you can't nothing is settled you haven't completed anything and that's kind of getting you like irritated you want to start a project and end it you but somehow something gets started and it just something veers off and something else happens um so you're kind of i feel like you're trying to maintain main like get on a road to, on a path to this is when it starts and this is when it ends but we all know that it's not in our timing the universe decides all these things the plans that we make are they're cute to the universe oh that's nice gemini i'm glad you made those plans here i am to show you what's really gonna happen <laughs> so i feel like that's like the type of chaos that you're picking up on um but it's all going to work out. It's all for your greatest good. These little things that happen to us to disrupt our plans are, is the universe getting you back on the path that you were meant to be on? You know, like I said, our plans, they're just like a kind of like a guideline. The universe ha holds our real life and, you know, whatever is meant to happen is going to happen. But I am also seeing that, um, <sighs> you now this is a card I'm, I'm hearing that that some people might be partnering up with somebody instead of being single they might have started dating somebody seriously um and they're feeling some sort of way about it like they've lost their independence but i'm also hearing to not think like that because you haven't lost your independence you want to spend time with this person you have waited a long time to be with them you've waited a long time to find somebody compatible and um to just enjoy the experience this isn't you saying you know i'm not independent anymore it's saying you know what i deserve somebody to to hang out with i deserve somebody to go on dates with you know take it for what it is right now um don't put you know all of your thinking into oh now i'm not independent anymore because you're still the same person that you were you're just choosing to spend your time and um your your energy surrounded by somebody who cares about you and wants your best interests and if that's not the kind of love that they're giving you if they're not there for you if they're not raising you up if they're not giving you and supporting your independent life 
then maybe you need to look into that and say, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. But if they're supportive of you being the person you want to be, you needing your alone time, you needing to do this and that by yourself, then maybe they're not for you. But who you, this person needs to be strong in themselves to realize that what they have, an independent person who is um, not going to change that part of themselves. Okay, so we're clarifying the King of Cups for the Gemini Collective. Clarifying the King of Cups. What does the Gemini Collective need to know about the King of Cups for January 2023? This one, the Empress. Ooh, thank you. The Fool. Okay, so immediately, I'll wait till the third card comes before I tell you what I just heard. No. Okay, and the Six of Wands. So the Empress, the Fool, and the Six of Wands. And I, I was told to look at the bottom, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so, so you might be um, in pregnancy. You might be um, pregnant right now if you're not then if you're looking to get pregnant you might be this might be a good time to try if you don't want to get pregnant please take precaution because you don't want <clears throat> um to make any hard decisions uh take precaution uh with that because it is um i'm feeling like there's a good a good chance that you might become pregnant also this is something coming to fruition maybe um, and we're clarifying for the King of Cups. So this might be, you know, them, somebody coming in and telling them that they love you, somebody coming in and vocalizing how much they care about you, um, or maybe even receiving an offer of marriage. It could be, you know, something coming into fruition, something growing. Maybe you're taking the next step and, you know, maybe you're living together. Maybe it's an engagement. Um, but something is coming in for this. Something is growing. This relationship is growing. Now, this is going to put you on a path to a new journey. Okay. Um, this I'm hearing to take... Um, to have faith that this is where you're meant to go. Okay, listen to your gut in deciding on if this is the right thing for you. Uh, but I do see that this is going to put you in the spotlight. Whatever journey that this is, it's going to lift you and make you feel good about yourself. This person is making you feel wonderful. Like I said, in every way that they know how. In every, like, the, it might not be what you see in movies. It might not be, you know, how things are perceived through other people. But they are trying to love you with everything that they have. And this needs to be recognized, okay? This person really does lift you up, really does put you, um, put you where you need to be and focuses on you, um, just seeing that from a different perspective, seeing it from their point of view or maybe somebody else's point of view um, and not being afraid to take these this journey, not being afraid to take that leap of faith into this next uh, portion or this next cycle that you're going on because it is leading to a ton of pentacles. And that is, um, you know, happiness, material happiness, getting everything that you wanted to get everything that you've manifested. Now let's clarify for the Four of Wands for our Gemini Collective. Four of Wands, please. For our Geminis. Four of Wands, please, Spirit. For the Gemini Collective for January. What do they need to know for their greatest good 
for January 2023. What do they need to know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you. What do they need to know? Can I have one more card, please, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords, Rebirth, and Three of Wands. And on the bottom, Ace of Pentacles. So there's an opportunity that you're missing. Um, I feel like it's because you have anxiety about something. But it is gonna, it's something that you've been waiting for. Okay, I f there is a lot of time that you've been putting into other people. A lot of time that you've been spending on making sure other people are okay. Other people are taken care of. But there are things that you're missing. And um, for you to get on the next cycle, for you to get to this place where you've reborn, where you get another chance, uh, for you to bring that back around again, um, the anxiety needs to subside. You need to start doing things for yourself. Just because you're doing things for yourself doesn't mean you're selfish. Um, it's self-care. And I feel like you might be separating yourself from something that you, you like or something that you made you happy. Um, this is a separation of, this could be a person. This could be something you used to enjoy doing, an outlet. This could be a creative outlet or an emotional outlet. Maybe this is somebody that you used to connect with um, and that you used to vibe off of. And, you know, you walk away feeling really happy and maybe there's a separation there. Maybe you haven't, you know, um, touched a base in a little while and Spirit's asking you to reconnect. Um, but right now you're feeling a lot of anxiety and releasing yourself and doing whatever it is or seeing whoever it is that sh made you feel good is what you're meant to do um to get rid of this anxiety to make, to make you feel like the weight's been lifted off your shoulders there's something that needs to, to happen somebody some person some outlet that you need to revisit for you to get on with this second chance this rebirth of sorts um for you to to move on past this anxiety that you're feeling so whatever that is um that you've been missing or whoever that is that you've been missing um then you know maybe you're um kind of you know what path do i go on you know me like i said in the beginning of the reading maybe you're have that stuck feeling of what do i need to do next and you know, that's giving you anxiety. Maybe you need to go back to school or something along those lines. But, you know, that needs to be revisited. Whatever it is that calms your anxiety or makes you feel um, easy, you know, easy inside, calm. Okay, so what came out so far for to clarify the King of Wands is the Nine of Cups. Then we have the Five of Pentacles. And lastly, the Four of Wands. Nine of Cups is in reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Wands in reverse. Or, I'm sorry, not in reverse. So there's something, remember I said this Knight of, of Wands was giving me a kind of like um, a younger person vibe. Uh, maybe like a niece or a nephew, a brother, a sister. Um, somebody younger. Somebody who uh, lost their passion for something. Somebody that needs some kind of... Um, of help and like I'm seeing there's some, some kind of sadness with them something is happening in in um somebody close to somebody in your energy's life that is making them um pretty upset that's they're, they're not able to find who they're looking for they're not able to to find healing if that makes sense um they're definitely I'm feeling I'm hearing <sighs> Their, their soul is very sad, um, you know, and uh, I'm hearing that there needs to be some sort of, <clears throat> you need to reach out to them or they need comforting of some kind. Um, they're looking for people who are on the same page with them, people who can vibe with them, 
um, a healing. You know, this is a wound, somebody who's wounded. Maybe there was a breakup or um, a job loss or something along those lines. This, this person wants and needs to be healed. It needs, needs this energy of, of healing. This could be they just need somebody to, to talk to. That could make them feel better. But once they're healed, once they start to feel better about themselves, then they're going to feel better about the, their lives and they're going to want to celebrate that. But right now, we're getting a feeling of just lost, um, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to, just dis, displacement. I think I had said, use that word, word earlier, uh, a displacement of sorts. So you might want to check in on this person if you have any idea of who I'm referring to, if there's somebody in your life like that that you just uh, might want to reach out to and just say, hey, you know, um, been thinking about you, you crossed my mind, and I thought I would just reach out and say hello. Somebody would really love to hear from you. All right, so I am going to close with this Moonology deck at one more card from spirit to give you a message oops this one already wanted to come out so we have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn so you are coming to an end of a cycle like i said there needs to be um so you need to see something from a different perspective there needs to be some kind of healing done and you need to be made aware of something before you're able to move on to that next cycle though um there definitely needs to be some something you need to identify with something before you're able to move on and a win-win outcome is in the forecast okay so all these changes that are happening to you all these feelings of change all these um things that might be this chaotic energy that is surrounding you um it is for your greatest good. You just have to keep on telling yourself that, that this is nothing stays. Okay. Nothing stays the same. So um, the bad times are going to change too. Okay. You just have to be patient and get through them the best you can with the most grace you can. All right. Thank you, Gemini, for tuning in. Thank you for your loyalty. I love all of you. Uh, please click on subscribe and like this video. If you would like a personal reading, please see below on how to do one. Otherwise, I will see you later. Bye, Gemini.